This elephant has been enslaved for the last 50 years. And today is a wonderful, wonderful day because today she's trekking uh, to freedom. When I first saw her, she had a 30 foot chain that weighs hundreds and hundreds of pounds wrapped around her neck. Her head was literally caving in from lack of nutrition, starving to death. I definitely knew that the clock is ticking. We need to get her to the sanctuary. This is gonna be your new life. You're gonna have a hang out with people and eat treats. It was a really, really good feeling taking that chain off her. And that's what it all comes down to is that moment. I imagine the fact that she was in chains for 50 years, there was a lot of confusion when we started walking because where we let her off the chains, we were not at the sanctuary. We had to walk her to the sanctuary, which was still a day away. Show you how well she eats a pineapple. <laughs> we would take breaks probably every hour or so to give her a couple mangoes, a couple of pineapple, just to give her a little bit of food and energy. But it was also about just kind of pumping her up. <laughs> Seeing her arrive at the sanctuary and knowing that she's about to have a bunch of friends was a really great feeling. Let's go meet your friends. Come on. One way you can always tell an elephant's happy if they're flapping here. It's kind of like a dog wagging its tail. And she was flapping her ears right away. That tells me that she was comfortable. That tells me that she felt safe. On the second day, we introduced her to an elephant that was recently rescued. Our new girl getting to know new members of her herd. We are just so excited to have her here and be chain free and living a life where she can just get fat and happy with her new pal. One day I was literally just watching a documentary about Asian elephants and the abuse that they go through. And I was so inspired by that documentary. Within an hour or two of watching, I bought a plane ticket to Southeast Asia to go rescue an elephant. It just so happened that it was around my birthday when I did that. So I made a promise to myself that every year for my birthday, I'll rescue an elephant. So far we've rescued four elephants. My hope is that people stop going to riding camps. A lot of times people visit these so-called elephant sanctuaries thinking that they're doing something good. If the camp is allowing riding in any shape or form, it is a bad camp. There's no way around it. Elephants are not made to be ridden on. Now, of course, I wanna see a world where elephants are just living in the forest and we don't even have to worry about riding camps. I would way prefer them to be how they were meant to be, and that is walking through unspoiled land. Baby girl. Oh, you're not baby girl. Hey, you want this? Just rescuing this elephant.